Hello there friends and followers and welcome to this Explain 11 video. Today we're going to be taking a look at an effect tuning plugin for Explain 11 by Aerosoft. Shade X is an effect tuning plugin that changes the visual appearance and adds effects by using a shader based real time technology. Aerosoft, the developer of ShadeX, promises that it will give Xplane a completely new, realistic look and create stunning screenshots. In my review of this product today, I hope to provide you with an insight as to what this product offers and whether it's worth the investment or not. So without further ado, let's get started. ShadeX by Aerosoft is a plugin and therefore its installation is quite simple. All you need to do is move its contents to your Resources Plugins folder of your Xplane 11 installation. Once you've successfully done so, you'll be able to access the plugin from within the Plugins menu. Let's go ahead and do this. Plugins. This is the main control panel of ShadeX. From within the control panel, you are able to toggle all the different features on and off. We're going to begin by taking a look at the predefined presets. By clicking here, as you can see now, we have the California preset. This is default, and this is the California preset. Let's take a look at the cockpit with the California preset loaded. And this is the California preset, and this is the default. Let's take a look at a few more presets. Clarity preset, color focus, flying with DOF, lifted red, lifted yellow, and so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next option. As you can see now, we have the depth of field. The depth of field can be set to either manual or autofocus. When it's set to manual, you'll have granular control over how you want the effect to be rendered. Let's take a look. This is now the lock stock preset with manual focus for the depth of field. Let's go ahead and play with these values a bit. You can see the far layer changes as we change the slider here. The near layer can also change as you can see the bottom of the screen. The focal length can also be changed. The lens speed can also be changed. As you can see with the manual focus, you have granular control over the effect. This is specifically useful if you're making a screenshot of this scene. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next option. Now we're gonna introduce the field of view. As you can see now, we can change the field of view and we can move the camera forward and backward. Next, we're gonna introduce the colors. Now you can change the contrast, the lift, the gamma, gain, temperature, and the saturation of the scene. As you can see here, you can change the temperature, you can change the gain, gamma, we can change the contrast, and let's move this now to autofocus. Let's bring up the last option here, and now we have access to more options to even um, have finer control over the effect and how the effect is rendered. Now in terms of FPS, I have not noticed any change in performance whatsoever. Let's take a look at those features inside the cockpit. As you can see now, things are not looking very good. If we change this to manual focus, and let's go for example to the Miami preset, we can change the field of view, and you can see things are pretty dark now from the Nord, uh, preset and we can change this to autofocus and now you can see that as we move the mouse the area of focus is automatically changed to where the air we are pointing our mouse at um, so this is what we're looking at and then we get the area of focus here uh, if we move on to old school for example the psyched pure uh, you can of course uh, experiment with the presets that you like but also you can change the preset to match you know, your preference. So here we can play with the gamma a little bit. And as you can see, the program functions kind of like Blue FX or Max FX uh, from X Aviation. Uh, it, 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 it operates in pretty much the same way. 
All right. So another um, feature available in ShadeX is in the advanced menu, you're able to um, bring up the effects control and you can turn things here on and off uh, if you don't want certain uh, um, options to be available then you can definitely turn them off from within the control menu here and those options will be automatically removed uh, from from the control panel you can turn these um, off I have changed the time to nighttime and this is to assess the existing presets uh, during nighttime now, please take notice that I am using a light mod for X-Plane 11. If you are interested in this mod, it is available through the Night Commands channel on my Discord. So, let's cycle through the different uh, presets here. Technocolor, Vibrant, uh, California. As you can see, this is probably not very suitable for nighttime. Clarity, um, Color Focus. Uh, this looks uh, pretty good in my view. Um, and if we go to the cockpit, uh, we can still see that this is uh, looking pretty good. Uh, and by the way, you probably need to create your own presets, something that fits your liking. And the application, in my uh, personal view, is uh, feature rich. So it really gives you a lot of control over what you want to do. Now, by the way, this is autofocus. With Flying With You, you can see that the focus is right here and it's kind of blared right there. And as I move the mouse up, it blurs this area, and then this area becomes the area of focus. So quite nice for creating cinematic videos, without a doubt, and uh, quite useful for creating nice screenshots as well. Here are a few more uh, presets, as you can see. Uh, things change uh, dramatically uh, in terms of the look and feel, and you have a lot of control over how you want your scene to look and how the effects uh, are rendered. My final remarks on ShadeX by Aerosoft for X-Plane 11 is that the plugin works exactly as advertised. In terms of the features, it is feature rich and it definitely offers an edge over similar programs available in the market today. In terms of the price, I feel it is slightly overpriced at $15. It sells today at the org store for $14.99. I believe that a, uh, a fair price for what this program does is in the vicinity of $7 to $9. So the question is, do I recommend getting this plugin for Explain 11? And my answer is, if you are unhappy with all your freeware scenery, uh, and all the tweaks uh, available for free, um, then I would recommend that you buy this program. It is a set and forget kind of a plugin, so you are able to tweak the scene exactly the way you see fit. You can save that preset and you can forget about it. Uh, you can definitely change things on the fly, so it does change things in real time. You don't need to worry about you know shaders or anything like that. Uh, so it is lightweight, does not affect your FPS uh, from my extensive testing um, throughout the morning today. Uh, I did not see any degradation in performance. Uh, so in, from, from that angle, uh, I think you're good to go. Um, if you're unhappy with all the stuff that you have and you still want to have that finer control over how your scene looks, this plugin is definitely for you. My final um, score, for ShadeX by Aerosoft, I give the program an 8 out of 10, and I'm subtracting two points here simply because I believe that the program is overpriced. Well, folks, this is what I wanted to share with you in this short show. I hope that you found this insightful and useful. If you have any questions, as usual, please do post them in the comments section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.